Hey friends, so today we are going to be making triple chocolate muffins. Mm -hmm. You heard me right. I am going to be incorporating three layers of rich, decadent chocolate in these muffins. And they are going to be absolutely moist and delicious. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. <music> Welcome back friends. So we're going to start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So in a bowl, I am going to start off with my dry ingredients. Here I have one and a half cups of all purpose flour already sifted. To that, I am going to be adding this Dutch processed cocoa powder from Ghirardelli. And this is my absolute favorite. I am using half a cup of that. Feel free to use whatever chocolate powder you have, but this is what I would highly recommend. To that, I am going to be adding one teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm also going to be adding some salt as well. And next, I am going to be adding some coffee, some ground coffee. You only need a little bit. I'm only adding about half a teaspoon of that, and this is the brand that I use. Chocolate and coffee, I promise you, were match made in heaven. Absolutely delightful. So I'm going in with my whisk and just mix it together. And do not forget to also add your sugar because this recipe is going to be so simple. You don't even need a mixer. You could do this whole thing with just your whisk. So I'm adding in one cup of sugar. I'm going to be... Um, adding some frosting to it so i don't i do not want my cupcakes to be too too sweet so mix all your dry ingredients together and that will be it set aside and we will move on to the next step so in another bowl i am going to start off with my wet ingredients here i have one large egg at room temperature yes you only need one egg and i promise you it's going to be so moist i am also adding six tablespoons of melted butter so you just need to remove two tablespoons from the stick and you will get your six tablespoons. Now over here, you would need two thirds cup of whole milk. Now I did not find whole milk, so what did I use? Buttermilk. Be creative and let me tell you, buttermilk, if you know, you know, adds so much moisture to your baking. So it was perfect. Of course, I'm gonna go in with a healthy splash of vanilla extract for that flavor. And another start of the show, you're gonna need half a um, cup of a sour cream at room temperature. The sour cream is gonna add in a whole lot of moisture, add it to um, that buttermilk, absolutely delightful, you would love it. So these are our wet ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead with my mixer and just combine all of this. Again, you do not even need a mixer, you can just go ahead with your whisk to combine. Now it is time to mix our wet and dry ingredients together. And for your convenience, all the ingredients that I'm using today will be in the description box. I would link the direct recipe on my website right in the description box. It will be the first link. When you click on it, it will take you directly to the recipe. And you can also feel free to check out other recipes on my website. Now, to this, I am adding half a cup of warm water. This will lighten up the batter and also activate all this chocolate and um, coffee flavors in our muffin mixture. So it would make it also really light. So I'm just going in with my spatula and scraping the sides so that everything is going to be well incorporated. So here we are. I am going to be using my 12 cup um, cupcake pan. And I'm going to reinforce that with my pan baking spray, which already contains flour. Then go in with my silicone brush and just, you know, rub it all over just so my cake will come out easily. If you don't want to do this, just simply line it with some um, cupcake liners and you should be good to go. Using my spatula, I'm just going to give it a quick stir to just ensure that everything is um, properly incorporated. And then... I would go in and just scoop it in. Now I just like to go in with my cookie scoop just so I am going in more even, you know, and just not eyeballing it like that. So I just go in and scoop it into my prepared pan. Remember our oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. This recipe is so simple, so easy. You can be done in minutes. And you guys know cupcakes don't take too long to bake. Also, I forgot to mention 
You can add your chocolate chips to your batter before scooping it in. I am gonna add mine right now. I just like to do this because sometimes I feel like some cupcakes will come out with less chocolate chips while some will get more. So I just like to do mine this way so that every cupcake gets um, you know, an even amount of the chocolate chip. So into our oven it goes for 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, I'm gonna start off with my simple chocolate frosting, okay? I am adding in some salted butter. I ended up using one stick, which is eight tablespoons of salted butter. Once I get all my butter cream, then I am going in with my powdered sugar. So I end up using one and a half cups. You can add up to two cups. So you would also need, of course, some chocolate powder. Not a whole lot. I used two tablespoons of the same Ghirardelli dark processed chocolate powder. And then also I went in with three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. If you do not have that, just use regular whole milk. And then what you wanna do, you wanna beat this until the sugar is dissolved and everything is well incorporated. I also went in with some almond extract and this right here was the bomb. It just gives this uniquely complex flavor, which I absolutely love. You can feel free to use vanilla extract or any extract of your choice. And this was a finished product. My frosting is nice and done and it was absolutely delicious. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into a piping bag because of course I'm gonna be using it to frost the muffins. If you are enjoying this recipe, please kindly hit on that like button. It just lets me know that you enjoyed the video and it motivates me and it also helps YouTube to recommend this video out to more people who would enjoy the content like you and I. So once I get all of that into my piping bag, I'm done. All I'm doing right now is just waiting for my cupcakes to be out of the oven and cool down to room temperature before I frost it. Now here we go, my cupcakes are all done and they have rested, they are cool to the touch. And can you see the chocolate chips melting really nicely on the top? Let me tell you, if this is not decadence, I don't know what this is. The muffins on their own are so delicious you really do not even need the frosting if you want to cut down that sugar feel free to omit the frosting but of course i'm gonna frost it up for you guys because i know we enjoy all of that and do not even look at my frosting skills i mean my piping skills are nothing to write home about but one thing i'm gonna assure you is that it is delicious this is our final product so beautiful you could do this with your kids you could do this with your grandkids it's so simple so easy you could throw this in for game day. You could have this for Valentine's Day. You could have this any day of the week. And can you see what the inside looks like? You can see those chocolate pockets peeking through. That's why I said it's layers and layers of rich, decadent chocolate. Super soft, super delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one, y'all stay safe. Bye.